Um, thanks for sitting with us. I, I just have a question for you. Um, here's a calculator. What would be your most expensive suit? That. Okay. <laughs> what exactly does a $40,000 suit look like? It looks like a $2,500 suit. <laughs> it feels different. It's all fabric. Our most expensive suit's 100% uh, Vicuna, which uh, is just, it's an incredibly rare fiber. So you just get to tell people that, you know, you've got one of five or something in the world. My favorite thing about a suit is the way that it makes you feel when you put it on. We all have those days where we wake up and we look in the mirror and we know that's it. we're having a good day, right? I look, my hair is right, my clothes are right, and you walk out in the world on those days with this sense of, of confidence and capability that you just don't have the other days, right? And so our goal here is to help guys have more of those days, to have a closet full of stuff that when they put on, they look great. I wear this suit, I know I'm gonna get a compliment. I wear this sport coat, I know I'm gonna get a compliment. And you get a closet full of compliments. I'm Michael Andrews, founder of Michael Andrews Bespoke. We started the company in 2006. I'm a recovering mergers and acquisitions lawyer who had to wear a suit to work every day. Couldn't find anything that I liked and uh, started getting my own suits custom made. Fell in love with the process. Still wasn't finding exactly what I wanted and 14 years later, here we are. Nothing makes a guy look better than a great suit. Nobody gets stopped walking down the street and complimented for wearing Lululemon. It might be comfy, but you put on a good suit and people stop you, men and women. It really can, can really make somebody look and feel their best. We work pretty hard, I think, at demystifying things about tailoring. We, we're, we frequently around here will say, we're not your father's custom tailor. We're not going to go out of our way to impress you with things like S numbers or the thread count, the number of microns and the diameter of a fiber. Throwing big words at them to confuse them, uh, I, I don't think does anybody any good. People always ask, they assume if you're in this business, you must be the son of a tailor or there's some connection. And in my case, there's not. I was a consumer. I wore suits and I thought to myself, there has to be a better way. And I said, let's start by creating an experience. So the first thing that happens, a guy comes in, grab a drink, and we're gonna chat. We're gonna talk about what is it you're here for? What's in your closet? How can we help? And that's the conversation. We're gonna get to know somebody, understand their likes, and their preferences. Now it's our job to begin to, just like your doctor or your lawyer, begin to guide and direct and to make suggestions. Our job is to just help you look and feel your best but we're the guide to facilitate you down the path of discovering what it is that, that makes you look and feel your best. Very few people still wear a suit and tie to work five days a week. So if they're not wearing a suit five days a week, they want the one suit or the one tuxedo or the one sport coat that really makes a difference. Certainly the most important thing about it is how it makes you feel. And from that perspective, it doesn't have to be an expensive custom-made suit. Right? There are plenty of guys who can look great in inexpensive off-the-rack stuff. Some of the guys who have the best physiques have the hardest time finding clothes because stuff off the rack is so cut for guys who aren't necessarily in great shape. You know, if you're about 10 pounds overweight, that's what everything off the rack is made for. But even the guy who the off-the-rack stuff is targeted for, it's still probably not cut to account for things like their shoulder slope, their posture, where their weight is distributed. So there are very few guys that truly look fantastic in stuff that's off the rack. 
And that's, that's where we come in. The difference between men's and women's in the sense is that women have this much choice off the rack. Despite all the choice off the rack, it's still not made for them. They are totally unique from top to bottom. They can be big up top, small down below. They can be big down below, small up top, any combination of in between. Simply from a pattern making standpoint, the, the amount of variability you deal with is exponentially higher. And we can account for any shape and size and whatever the curvature of their body is, however tall or short they are, we, we can address that. The great thing with custom is there are so many different options. You walk into a store and there's maybe 20 or 30 different things to pick from. We have 40,000 fabrics. And so that alone is enough to blow most people's minds. And you're going to pick your details. You can pick your lapel style, how wide or narrow you want it, different types of stitching. You get to pick your buttons. You can put a different colored buttonhole on the sleeve. You get to pick your lining. You can design your own custom lining. If you're left-handed, we'll switch the pockets around inside the jacket for you. If you want flat front pants, pleated pants, cuff trousers, belt loops or side adjusters, any number. I, I don't know that it's, it's magical to a suit, but a suit really lets you be somebody that you're not on a regular basis. If a suit is your boring work uniform, you hate suits. When the suit is the thing that you get to put on for that wedding or that special event or that, that really fancy dinner, that's when it is something that really lets you transform. It's no longer your, your work uniform, but it's your Superman costume. Ha, 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 ha.